G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you the nine things you should do after first installing Ubuntu 13.04 or otherwise known as Ubuntu 13.04 Rare in Ringtail. Now I'll go through, through this uh, list pretty fast, pretty quick, as otherwise it will turn out to be a long video. So first thing you want to do is go to the software updater. So go to the applications menu and type in software updater and there we go right there. In previous editions it was called the update manager but they've changed it a little bit there. Now you want to do this because you might either get your Ubuntu from a DVD, a CD, a torrent, a download or whatever and it does need to be updated so uh, make sure that you do that. That's you know, pretty important. Okay moving on I'll just let that run its course and I won't worry about that for now. It's fairly automated after that point. So moving on, you want to add additional drivers. So number two, add addition, additional drivers to your system. Now why you would want to do this is because a lot of the time your laptop, your PC, whatever will have uh, proprietary uh, hardware drivers uh, such as a Wi-Fi card or a graphics card, video card is uh, usually two really common ones. So in order to actually enable those because they'll only have actual proprietary drivers, drivers available for them is to go to the applications menu and then go to software and updates as you can see there. So we'll just click on that one for a moment. And when it does load up, I might actually have it here, here we go. So when software and updates do load up, you want to tab across to the additional drivers section. Now I've got no proprietary uh, hardware on my system so nothing shows up there but very commonly if you, you'll find if your Wi-Fi card is not working or your hard video card hardware acceleration isn't working that great the list it'll be right here in a list and then whoop, there's my software updater then uh, click on it click apply changes and close you may have to restart you may not but uh, that's a great way uh, to get your Wi-Fi going when you uh, first install Ubuntu on a new laptop and you've got no idea why it's not working okay Number three, moving on, uh, codecs, video, sound codecs, all those sorts of codecs for uh, yeah, movies and yeah, just movies and videos. So what you want to do is open up a new terminal and get the codec. So type in sudo apt-get install Ubuntu restricted extras. And that's about it. So hit enter throw in your password and that will install the Ubuntu restricted extras for playing uh, playback of videos that sort of thing now mine installed pretty fast because I've already got it installed so that's all over and done with already so we'll get out of that okay so number four selecting the best server for actually downloading your updates so what you want to do is go to the uh, software and updates again which is right here in the applications menu and let that load up and when it does load up what you want to do is go to select best server so we'll just give that a second there we go so on the front the first tab you'll see Ubuntu software you've got download from I've already set mine up for an Australian server hence the accent all of that sort of thing but if you are overseas <coughs> excuse me and want to uh, you know get the best speed you can actually click this button here to select best server once it's done it will highlight the particular one that is the best server for your particular lo location on earth then you just click choose server and then you're done I won't click that now because I'm all set up already so that's how you select the the best fastest server for downloading new updates always very helpful okay now number five uh, firewall now Linux Ubuntu it does it is, it is pretty safe as it already is it doesn't need antivirus but it still does need a, uh, a firewall so I recommend Firestarter just because it's got a uh, throw in your password for a program like this just because it's got a oh here we go a firewall wizard when you start it up which is uh, quite cool quite handy uh, especially for the beginners out there it'll uh, step you through the process that's your uh, networking device and moving on moving forward and yeah, just follow the prompts there with the uh, with the uh, with the firewall wizard. Great. Okay, moving on. Number six, you want Ubuntu one. Now I'll show you that Ubuntu one. 
This is pretty much a cloud service, so you can fit 5 gig of free data up on the cloud. Uh, most competitors at the moment are only offering 2 gig, so very, very handy to have. Put your sync your folders on there, uh, do whatever with your music. Now when you sync, you can sync any folder by just right clicking, then go to uh, sync with Ubuntu 1. It's not on there yet because I haven't yet set it up on my new distribution of uh, Ubuntu 13.04, but uh, I will shortly. So Ubuntu 1, remember that. Now, number seven, media players. Now, you cannot go wrong with VLC. Uh, best media player out there. Before I told you to get the codex, now I'm telling you to get, to get the player. Uh, it's very handy, it's very helpful. Um, I really do recommend it. It's, uh, it, it. it's really good for when you want to put subtitles on or speed up or slow down the audio, the sound, that sort of thing to sync with the video. It's just chock full of features and you've got to get into it if you haven't already. Okay, so number eight is keyboard shortcuts. So go to the applications menu, click keyboard, type in keyboard, then click it and you'll be setting up shortcuts here. So go tab across to the second tab and you'll see there's already a couple set up. For example, launch terminal is control alt T. But if you click here on it, you'll see it says new accelerometer, so I can change that to Control alt r for example, but it just makes sense to go Control alt t so I'll keep it at that. Now if you want to create a new one, of course, you can do that as well by clicking the plus button down the bottom here, type in, for example, Firefox, and then the command to open Firefox, which is also coincidentally Firefox. Click apply, you'll see it there. It's actually already set up on my computer, and I've already got the uh, Control alt f to open Firefox, so that's uh, great to see, great to know. Great, moving on. Now, last but not least, and some people wouldn't really consider this important, but I think it's one of the favorite parts of Ubuntu is to, or any Linux distribution for that matter, is to, for software benchmarking. So there's a program called Seft, uh, System Profile and Benchmarker. Now, I'll show you this, then I'll show you how to install it. So open it right up, and then we'll see, go down the bottom on the left-hand pane, and then you'll see benchmarks. So let's do a CPU Blowfish benchmark. Let that puppy load for a second. It should actually take some time as it's actually going through the uh, the process. It looks like it's going pretty slow now, but here we go. Great. So it took 9.79 seconds to do it in comparison on my machine in comparison to a couple of other machines. Now you might be asking, where's the rest of the uh, the actual you know machines out there? Everyone, you know, millions of people must have tried this. True, they have, and you can actually download extra um, stats and information about other people's PCs, laptops, and yeah, you know your own favorite ones, that sort of thing. It even does this uh, CPU Fibonacci sequence and all that. Um, yeah, it's quite a handy, fun little thing. There's even a, uh, a GPU version somewhere in there. So yeah, it's uh, it's really quite cool. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, actually, no, before it is, I will show you how to download that. It's called Hard Info on the Terminal. So let's go to open up a new terminal. And what you want to do is type in sudo apt-get install hard info. Now, throw in your password. And mine will go pretty fast because, of course, it's already installed. So that's already done. Back to the command prompt. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is... Uh, nine things you should do after first installing Ubuntu 13.04. I um, hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please subscribe. Thanks for your support, your help, your effort. Thanks for your likes. And really, thanks for your comments as well. That's really cool as well. So cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day, and uh, I'll hear from you soon. Take care. Ciao.